Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mark. Just thought I'd shoot a quick video on Luminaire. Um, this is a question that a lot of people have for me, and I thought today I would take some time to make a video to explain it. The question is, how do I make a fixture file for a light that does not have the product file in the library that's built into Luminaire? So, here goes. You're already in Luminaire and you need to create another fixture file. So what you need to do first is go to the little bullseye in the top left corner and click projects. By the way, when you click projects, it automatically saves whatever you are in. So that's like the way of saving. Okay, so now the first thing I need to do is create a new project. So there's a button here. It has a plus symbol. Click new project and you'll see the new project here. You click the project and it says at the top tap here to create a new track or scene. Well that's just kind of like a little um, graphic indicator of where to get started. So we're going to go ahead and get started by pressing that plus sign and there's a lot more that a lot more here than adding tracks and scenes. Um, one of the things is a new DMX group. So a fixture file starts with a DMX group. So we have to create an empty group and now you can see I've got something called group one and I'm going to click it and I'm going to rename it um, we're going to call it uh, cube echo uh, um, six channel so I'll write six and channel I like to abbreviate channel with CH that's just my way of doing it so now I've named it. Now what I need to do is create the faders. And all you do is add uh, the simple faders. I happen to know this fixture that's right here. Our six channel mode is red, is channel one, two is green, three is blue, four is white, five is amber, and six is UV. So I'm gonna go ahead and first start with adding those six simple faders. And six. So the first, it automatically names them track one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on track and I'm going to name that red. Um, another simple thing that's really neat is there's a color indicator. I like to go ahead and make the faders the color of uh, what it is. All right, so once I've done that, um, it's automatically going to choose address one when you create a new file. That's fine. If you are more advanced and you want to change that, you can, but let's not worry about it. I just want to click on it just to show you the screen. Go back to con the uh, controls and now look, you can see it's red. Oh, look at that. And the, and the light is receiving the red as well. Um, I could have colored this purple if I wanted. It still wouldn't affect the light. I just want to make that clear. I'm just doing it as a designation um, for the, the red. Then I click the green. And I name it green. Next one is blue, obviously. I'm going to change the color of that to blue. The next one's white. And I will name that white. One of the things I like to add with Luminaire, um, I really recommend you make your own fixture files than asking someone to do it for you because remember the abbreviation six channel and I use CH. Um, somebody else making the file might have their own designations or, or reasons for doing something and they may understand it, but you might not. So again, that's why I'm making this video to show you guys how to do it. So that way you can do it on your own. Everything makes sense for you. This one's going to be amber. And I'm going to change the color of it to amber. And the last one is UV. It's already picked as purple, so I, I'm just going to leave it purple UV kind of uh, color. And done. 
Now you can do some other things, um, select blackout and, and the, the master off and edit the channels and all that, but don't worry about it. We're just doing a simple fader because I think that's where a lot of people start. They want to control their pars for their uplighting. Um, so that's what we're doing here today. Now, the next thing to do is click save. Um, I've named it Cube Echo 6 channel. Um, I also need to select the model. So I'm gonna go through the list here, and if it's not here, um, what I'll do is um, click the plus symbol, and then type the word Cube Echo. Now, you might think, well, that's kind of redundant. Why is it uh, the name of the fixture file and then the model, two different things? Well, the model is the Cube Echo, but you might also have Cube Echo 3 channel or a Cube Echo 13 channel mode. So there's many different modes you can select. Um, so once I've added that, then I selected it. I'm not sure if you saw it, but I, I scrolled through because I had clicked the plus symbol at the top and then add the file. No, I'm sorry, the fixture. Here it is. Now, manufacturer. If the manufacturer of the brand of the light isn't listed, you can create it by hitting the plus symbol. Um, this is eternal lighting, so I click eternal lighting and then click save. So now that that's done, we've created that fixture file. Um, basically, what I can do is hit the projects button, go back out, go into um, a particular product or a project. Let's let's go into uh, this one. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to add that fixture file we just created to my my um, project here. So I hit the plus symbol. And what I'm going to do is add a fixture from fixture file. So I'm going to go to eternal lighting, select uh, that, and then go to the cube echo um, fixture. And right here at the bottom is the fixture I just created. And now what that did was it added it to the end of my, my um, my project. And what I'll notice is if I click on uh, the, the fixture and I click edit channels, remember earlier I said it would make it address one? Um, well, it knows that the last address of my project was 25, so it automatically created 26. So we'll go back to the control panel and I need to go to my light here and, and put it in address 26. All right, now if I've done that right, I'd be able to control the light. Ah, look at that, it's working. So that is how you create a fixture file, add it to your project. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. And remember, lighting makes all the difference.